so. I'm going to go to a Pokemon Center um, okay. and see if I can teach any of my Pokemon a lightning move so I have one. I think I did that last time and I couldn't. Yeah, but we have to. Well, yeah, I know. I'm just saying that is a good idea because you never know what you're going to be up against, right? Well, yeah, but you know when you face the uh, Elite Four that you're going to have some uh, types to learn stuff from. Oh, I can learn. Houndor can learn, apparently. That might actually be... Okay, okay, then we got Tinkaton. I was like, I feel like my fairy types should be able to. We can also teach our mice one that, well, this doesn't, or this, this doesn't do damage, it just paralyzes. Why the frick can Frostlass learn Thunderbolt? Is there a ghost? <laughs> I guess, I mean, they can't use all of these, but it's just kind of weird. Power 90. Alright, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some so that I have them. And then if I need to, I can oh, give them I need. Oh, I don't even know what I need for this. Does oh, it... I don't have enough. A question mark? <laughs> oh, you need Parish Chew Fur. You must not have caught a Parish yeah, Chew okay. Chiru or whatever. Because that's the one that I was looking at, too. I guess I must have used it for this. No, that was Shinx Fangs. I thought I had the stuff for this. Maybe not. But I also don't have Pichu Fur. So. Well, if worse comes to worse, I can... Houndor can learn Thunder Bite or whatever the heck that one was called. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll have... Ye oh, no one can learn Volt Switch. Charge beam. Let me also look like what what else if I look oh nope, not that one, that's the map. I always open the map because I think it's this. What do you have? Because you're a normal type, so you probably could learn something kind of Okay, you know what? We could definitely replace play rough with something else, because we have like you three have other people, people that do play rough. <laughs> Um, I really like Su Super Fang. We could also replace Bullet Seed because we've got uh, Meowskarata that's super high level, so probably I'm not going to need to use that. So, like, what can Mousehold learn that's, like, moves of a different type that I don't have for other... Okay, we got Fire. We got Water. Electric... I think they could learn this one, but it, it doesn't do damage. Yeah, so that's... It's not that was looking that at desirable. That. Uh, we don't care about grass. We got ice covered. Fighting? I think somebody has a fighting move, but you know what? It might be good to do. If you can do one of these. Okay, this is craftable. I see it. Okay, it tells me which ones are craftable. I'm seeing this now. Poison. We do not really have poison stuff. Ground, ground might be good. Yeah. I think somebody... Vaporeon? Oh, no, wait, I think it's a water move. It's called, like, water... Muddy water or something. I don't know. So, like, what can they learn that I can craft that's really good? Dig? Dig might be good for them, honestly. Stefan? <laughs> Digs? Yep. I mean, I might as well craft it. Because I can. They they can they can learn it. Meow, 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 meow. And yeah, so we'll give dig to I love that Vaporeon can learn dig too. Like why? <laughs> and we'll replace play rough with that. <clears throat> okay. And then we don't got anything else. We got, er, well, I had acrobatics was on Palafin. Palafin is gone now, so I don't have any flying moves. I feel like flying moves are one of those moves types that are like, you know, you don't really think about them, and then they're like, really end up being good. Yeah, that's why my Murkrow has, um, wing attack. 
This attack never misses. This attack does massive damage if the user isn't holding an item. So it's different. So massive damage, what was that? Times three or something like that is what that means? We learned it in our math class, I think. But no, I can't it, it's, it's sharply uh, rose, sharply rose, and then whatever the third one is. I think Aerial Ace might be better because it never misses. It's a really fast attack, so it might get in like before. Yeah. I'll craft that up. Um, what pocket do I find stones in? But I'm not gonna teach it right now. Uh, it is in your your is it the candy one. Yeah, it's the candy one. It's down. All right, now psychic. We don't really have any psychic moves. I was like, can anyone learn Psybeam? <laughs> Zen headbutt. Nobody can learn it. Light screen. That doesn't do damage. Neither does reflect. Neither does rest. Why would I want any? For of a these? second, I was like, where are you? And then I realized we hadn't made a party yet. Okay, we have bugs. We have a bug move with Tinkaton. She knows Skitter Strike or whatever it is. Rock type. I mean, you know, you're not gonna be able to get all the the move sets. Ghost type we're set on. Dragon. I don't. I don't have a dragon in the party anymore. It would be funny if Mousehold could learn one of these though. Dark type is good. Steel type is good. Fairy type is good. Okay, so that's everything. But yeah, I think we've got our bases fairly covered. I'll I'll make a party for you, but then I'm gonna add I'm gonna change your order. Uh mouse holds abilities. Beep boop bop beep boop boop bop. <coughs> I had to click through a lot. Seven, four, two, zero. I'm also searching for a group. It's like we're swingers. Yeah. Yeah. Searching for other open couple. We just gotta look for the flamingos or the pineapple. Yeah, it's pineapple. Well, flamingos also. <clears throat> Hello. I, I heard him. In Google, but I don't know where we are. Oh, we're back in the bamboo forest. For some reason. In Google? Hello? Is he, is he on top of the thing? I don't see him. He is. It's right here. Five. Oh. Where? Right. Oh, he's right on right the, the thing. You, yeah. yeah. Mine was only one. Oh, I need one more trainer. Okay. Okay. So though, now if we go into our bag here. And we go to our TMs. I already forgot. What did I make for... D you can learn Hyper Beam? Don't forget, it takes two turns. Yeah, it takes two turns. I also don't remember if his physical... Or their physical or their... I think I was going to teach you a aerial move, which is just really funny. Uh, did you put it in? Why? Where are the TMs that I made? Not rock blast. Sleep talk. User randomly uses one of the moves it knows. This move can only be used while the user is asleep. Interesting. You intentionally put your Pokemon to sleep. 
some moves have healing when you sleep. Or some Pokemon can do that. Yeah. It was called Aerial something, right? I should have just taught it to him, but I- oh, is this one Aerial Ace? Yeah. I'm gonna have this Pokemon learn- this mouse Pokemon is gonna learn Aerial Ace. Yeah. Rest can heal you, but put you to sleep. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, I think that would be cool to see a Pokemon made like that combo. Also, hello, Jesse. I just wanted to check really quick. Okay, so my regular attack is stronger. And I have all regular attacks for them. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so are we doing the... The lighthouse, right? We can try. Yeah, who knows. This is, like, related to the professor. Yeah. Where's the lighthouse? I don't know, I'm just going along the coastline waiting to see it. Okay, is this it? Yeah, the Pogo Path Lighthouse. It's near the South Province Area 1, the South Paldean Sea. East. South. Yeah, it's right there. It's an exclamation point. Yeah. I'm just flying there. You're flying here? No, you can go directly to the lighthouse. Can you? Because it's got a little... Oh. Well, I just did. I can't. <laughs> I think because you have it set as the destination, maybe? I don't know. There you go. Maybe I was on, like, the lighthouse next to it. Let's see. Let's see how tough uh, they are. Also, just so you know, if you if you get the uh, thing for Better Twitch TV, you can set it to automatically get your channel points and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have to walk out and then walk back. Or, oh, no, right, you got it. Alright, let's see. Seriously? You beat me here? I mean, we did spend like a whole day doing nothing, dude. True. Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. There better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. You go in there and they're like mad scientists, like fusing Pokemon together. Everyone always says she's some kind of genius, absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My mom, that is. My name. But let me tell you, as a parent, she's the worst! All she ever does is work. She never comes home. I don't have a single memory of her even playing with me, her own kid. But Boss Stiffs is the only one who is there for me, always. This guy was raised by his dog. <laughs> Sad. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. I just want to get this over with. What if instead of battling him, we had to battle the professor? That would be great. Be kind of cool. Yeah, it would be kind of cool. Like, is Oak good at battling? I don't know. You think they would be? Oak just has like six Mr. Mimes. <laughs> oh no! Check out my cool sneakers, everybody. Wow! Imagine if this had voice acting. Pokemon Company is twenty twenty three. Right. Game Freak. Please. Nobody's here. What the heck? Fallen into my trap. Want to play a game? <laughs> oh no. I need your help. Oh, she does have fangs. Okay. I was talking about her the other day, and somebody was like, She's got like fangs, and I was like, Does she? <laughs> She's a vampire. I am currently at the deepest point of Area Zero in the Great Crater of Paldea. Well, have fun with that. <laughs> okay. I have been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time. Wait, are you his dad? In in that universe? What? Is Turo his dad? Arvin's? Yeah. yeah. When you said you, I was like, I'm not anyone's I was, dad. I pointed. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sada's glorious research. The final step. Look, they're in my... Our streamer set up. <laughs> There's something we need first, something 
that can be found within the lab. What we need is the Scarlet Book. Wait, do you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites things. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with pow powerful cybernetic security system. <laughs> the freaking cyberpunk. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I will be awaiting you in the deepest part of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Hey, I don't know if we're ready for this, but... Yeah, I, thought... <laughs> I don't know if this or the Pokemon League is easier. Area Zero. We can at least check it out. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that my boss diff got wounded in the first place. Down in the Great Crater of Paldea. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? Of course I'm going to go. Yo, Tsunami! Yo, Tsunami, what's up? We're at the lighthouse right now. Why does this cutscene seem more high res? I don't know. I suppose she did ask. And I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger. Yeah, we after saved your own. dog's life. I'm holding that against you. Hi, hey, Luna. So I guess I'm going to. Besides, I love to give mom a piece of my mind. Luna, I'm glad I cut your claws earlier. That'd be me. All right, there, Ronnie. Outside, we're gonna have a Pokemon battle to see if we're really ready to head to Area Zero or not. Okay, here we go. This will be the test. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. When he sends out Mabostiff, it's level 99. I don't want to kill Mabostiff! We just healed Mabostiff! <laughs> Alright. We can't fight him. Is there anything in here before we leave? That's what I was looking for. Oh, it, I got too close to the door. Oh. Hi, Luna. There's Mabostiff. Did you know you don't have to catch... Um, actually, I saw this. So you you know when at the beginning when you're walking and there's three the three starters, you if you go back and look on your roof, there's a Pokemon sitting there, oh. and you can throw the ball at that Pokemon instead. It's just like a, a one of the birds. Oh, interesting. Put them down like old Yeller. You're battling with the boss tip? No. No, they're old Yellering Ash. I can see why you'd be worried. But my buddy here is bursting with energy. You never know, he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. Mabostiff wants to kill us. <laughs> Why? Mabostiff, we helped you! What the hell, man? It's been so long, I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. He's doing a body. I don't like what he's doing right now. <laughs> Even if we always lost to that student council girl, the battle fanatic one. Battle sexual. Yep. Anyway, my point is, there's no need to worry. We're a brand new Arvin and Mabostiff, and we're feeling audacious, or maybe herbaceous? He's high? Let me give you a taste of what we can do. Yeah, you better have some sick battle music, dude. I know, right? Penny's is pretty sick. Pokemon Trainer Arvin. Did you know, Tsunami? That the guy, Fox, from Undertale did some of the music for this game? Oh, wait. Is it every Pokemon that we fought? Wait, did we fight a Greedent? I don't remember. Get flower tricked? <laughs> I, I was reading about it. Yeah, he did, like, the... the some of the main themes from this. Earthquake hurts ghosts? Uh, I guess? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you imagine you're a ghost, you're dead, and then the, the world starts shaking and you get hurt by it, and you're like, why am I- what's the point of I'm being dead. a ghost? Scovillain! Okay, Scovillain is a fire type, I think. I think it's that weird pepper one, right? Toads. 
Is that water? It's a toad, so I'm assuming it's some kind of water, but I don't know. Yes, it's the weird pepper one. Uh, get ready to be hydro pumped. Okay, well, first I guess you get to attack me, sure. Oh my god, super effective, what the hell? Aren't you fire grass? How is that super effective? You're gonna kill me. Okay, hold on. I wish that one of these was, like, faster or something, but... Okay, we're gonna die. Unless Vaporeon holds on there. No? Okay, that's fine. I feel like the fights in the game should be this difficult earlier on. Oh, he could have shiny ones. That would be cool. Okay, let's... Oh, no, wait. Super effective, and it's poison one? He pulls out, like, a shiny Celebi, and you're like, No! Say hello to my little mice. Get Ariel aced by some Garganesso. I, I don't know that Who one. Who the hell are you? I, I've also got them, so I'm keeping the mice out here. Oh, it's like... A, it's, I didn't know that the salt one got any bigger. That looks like the final form of the salt one. He's salty. Alright, we're just gonna start off with a classic population bomb, I think. Okay, but it doesn't I was say, it's probably gonna to be you. resistant because that thing's made of salt. Do you have a favorite um, Pokemon from this gen so far, Sumo? Or, I don't know why I called you Sumo, so the Tsunami. <laughs> so, what are you? You're like rock? I forget. Is grass good against rock? Yeah, fire is not, but I still kill them. I think grass is, is good because it's. I don't know. We'll try. Or ground? I don't know what the hell he is. Alright, we got a cloister coming out. If you kill Sprig, though, I'm gonna be very upset, so please don't. Okay, Sprig lived. It's super effective. Holy shit. I might die. Okay, hold on. If I use a max potion really quick, give me some extra HP. Seto Cetodial. Okay, super I, effective. I don't know who my favorite from this gen is so far. I'm trying to think if there's anyone I really like. Got him. Hey, honestly, for sheer design, it might just be Quaxly. Toad is cruel. That, uh, he's like a grass type. Okay, grass type. We'll try Wednesday then. I wish I could revive Vaporeon, because I feel like they're missing out on a lot of XP, but... Liquidation! Get liquidated. Oh, it's the weird one that's like a walking tentacruel, but yeah. it's like grass fungus or something. Skullvillian. Oh, Is that fire? That's the fire grass, I think. Fire grass? It's like a pepper. Alright, I'm in trouble. Express it. I do love when Pokemon have, like, big eyes that are very cute. Yeah, I mean, that thing, it does look like an anime creature. It does have really big eyes. Yeah. Alright, we definitely don't want you out here with Cloyster. You know what? Tinkaton hasn't got a chance to shine yet. We'll just put her in there. I don't know how she's going to do against a cloister, but... I'm assuming it's just a water type. They have that icicle spear attack. That's annoying. Well, let's see how the hammer works. It's pretty good. It's not super effective, but it's pretty good. Take a ton's very tough, so. Okay, I can't use the hammer again, so how about a flash cannon? Get get wrecked. Scrub. Okay, it's time. It's time to kill Mabostiff. 
I think I just reached my boss stiff too. No! We gotta kill him! You cannot lower my attack. Alright. Uh, we're uh, super effective? Okay, sure. We'll do it then. Oh, I forgot! I forgot terastalizing! I always forget to terastalize. Well, if he lives, I will terastalize. I didn't terastalize just because I- this is not the Pokemon I would want to terastalize. Mm. I'm not sure if Miss Mage just can even hurt them because this a normal type, right? Woo! Ouch! Okay. What type is that terastalize? Dark? I think that's dark type. Go ahead and terrestrialize and do play rough again. Might as well. I have four HP, so I hope I get to go first, or else I'm done. Dark. Okay. Dark. That's, it's cool looking. Okay. Get my cute little heart. I missed. He's gonna kill me. Damn, this oh. boss might actually beat me. My baby! Okay. That's okay. We got somebody. We got somebody we can use. We got somebody that's super effective. I mean, Sprig is. Can I get. Can Sprig live? I'm gonna use potions because I don't think Gengar can hurt him. Go, Sprig. You're very fast. There we go. There we go. I've done it. I can't believe you let me kill your dog after all we did to save this dog. Alright, good. Gengar's cursed body. Little buddy. I use a super potion to fully heal oh, wow. him. Because I honestly don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I should have, uh... Grasslized. That's true. But he used Fire Fang, which isn't very effective on me, so... Here we go! I, I was really lucky that Gengar's Cursed Body- he used Bite on Gengar, because his Cursed Body disabled mm. Crunch. What if you saw a crocodile walk out of the water with a fancy hat on like that? I'd be like, yo, we gotta get this guy a show. And then he was like... Mm. You make him like the crocodile from uh, Princess and the Frog. Yeah. When a human... And, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be... I'm gonna put on my horn so loud and strong like no one you've ever seen. Yep. I love when Prince Navid is like, a brunette on my left side... Redhead on my Is that right. what he says, yeah. yeah. A blonde dude <laughs> something something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That seems Classic or right. Playboy. And he goes, Hey fella, life is short, when you're done, you're done. We're on this earth to have some fun, and that's the way things are. Mm-hmm. Dang, this is the strength of someone who could take down this Titan Pokemon, huh? Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're gonna need some more support. The Pokemon in areas here are super strong, and there are all sorts of weird machines there, too. I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with champion rank level skills, and somebody to deal with ta crazy tech. Okay, so that's Nimona and, and Penny. Penny. Well, they just asked me to pick Penny, yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna say maybe Nimona. The Suo Council Girl? Yeah, she'd be perfect for the job, but I doubt she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on her level, as in champion rank level. But well, we've got to do what we got to do. Whoever you think could be a help, just try getting in good with them. We'll see if we can't get a team together. Get in touch if you make progress. I'll do the same. Okay, so do we have to defeat the Champions League to get both the people we need? I bet for this we one? can get Penny to join us. But yeah, I think we have to beat the Pokemon League to get Nimona. Ooh, okay, we finished that quest line. Yeah. Though. Okay, I'm gonna go to this Pokemon Center because uh, I have a couple dead Pokemon. It fully healed us. Okay, never mind then. Um, 
But yeah, where do we find Penny now? Like, in her dorm? No. Didn't she say she was given a job by the Pokemon League? Well, she said they said after she graduated. Oh, okay. Penny. Penny. Like maybe if we go to the school, she'll be there. Maybe. Okay, there's Nimona. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah, we could look for her at the school, but I don't know where. I just wonder if, like, we go to the computer, maybe it'll be like you can visit her dorm or something. Mm. And if not, we can go see, uh, Nimona. Yeah, she's got a little bit of... I gunk. Yeah. We did not finish classes. No, yeah, that's what- we could take some classes while we're here. Yeah. Honestly, they're interesting, but I would just, like, like, just give me some voice acting. Yeah, it's just kind of tiring to read all of the, the dialogue out loud. Okay. Director's office has a checkpoint. Penny, where are you? Maybe we have to talk to the director. Okay, I'm going. Thank you again for your outstanding work on Operation Starfall. I cannot tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did. And I know she is exceedingly grateful to you for your part in all this. So I have one more thing to ask of you, though the request is admittedly of a delicate nature. Do you think you could continue being friends with Miss Penny as you have thus far? This is like when your parents tell you you have to be friends with the kid on your block. The weird kid? Yep. I must say, I truly am glad to have you as one of my students at the Academy. I believe you've more than earned this small token of my appreciation. Big nugget. He gave us a big nugget. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you'll always stay just as wonderful as you are now, Miss Ronnie. Hey, okay, close bond. Okay. Well. My name is Bond. Close bond. <laughs> well, Penny was not here. Yeah, um, I guess we can take some classes. The kid that's clearly the neighborhood billy bully. Yeah. You have to be nice to him, but mom. Alright. I say Well, isn't this the last math class? I thought we finished math already. I mean we could take it. Oh yeah, maybe it just stays at six. I mean we could take it and see, but I don't know. We'll see if one of the other ones disappear. We can... We're at four for our... Let's power through those ones. Also, his classes are interesting. Mm. I'm petting Luna. Luna's petting you. Hello class, it is I, Hassel, yet again. <laughs> Back by unpopular demand. I'm pleased to say that everybody did very well in the midterm exams. As a reward for all of your hard work, we'll have a special guest visiting us today. Now then, Brassy, please come in. Greetings. Oh, it's this guy. He was the grass gym leader? Right, yeah, yeah. I am Brassius, an artist, and I focus exclusively on grass-type Pokémon for my work. Brassy is here mainly creates three-dimensional pieces, such as statues and the like. One of his major works was an installation titled Sundering Son of Flora, found in Artisan. Or Surrendering? I, I don't know if I heard that wrong. Many of you who have challenged the Artisan Gym are no doubt familiar with these sculptures. Yes, but I do recognize some faces among your students. I hope you all understand how fortunate you are to be able to attend ha Hass's classes. Hass's classes. Old Hass has been a man who saved me when I lost all hope and given up on myself. But he never gave up on me. I do not exaggerate when I say he is my mentor in life. It is precisely thanks to Hass that I was able to establish my current art style. Ah, dear Brassy. 
I'm nothing against reminiscing about old times, but today I hope you will guide this class in a way only you can. He's like, of you want me course. to beat these students with my Pokemon? Why don't we discuss what Haas mentioned? Surrendering Son of Flora. Son Flora. Can anyone here tell me what my mood was when I crafted this detached expression? Probably a sad mood, uh, even, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's what I was guessing. No! Oh, okay. No, no, no. Completely and utterly wrong. When I made that sculpture, I had surrendered all hope. I was prepared to give up everything. I had resolved to give up my life as an artist if that piece did not receive proper recognition. Hence the name Surrendering Sunflora. He looks so happy. You got a... Eight. eight. Yeah, it's just slightly below. Hello, Red Hazard. Yes, hello. When I started out as an artist, I experienced many hardships. I even became deathly ill and fell into a slip that drove me to desperation. I began worrying only about what would sell. I was concerned only with fame and fortune. But all of my pieces during this time had no depth. They were all shallow trash. It was then that I met Haas, and he helped me realize how petty I was being. I'll spare you the details, but in the end I was able to leave all that behind. And that is also when I crafted the Sunflora. Remarkable, even I did not know the full story until now. The drama. This kind of thing is hard to tell someone, especially when they are so close to you. Now, I don't doubt that your adolescence will often find your heads crowded with worries. My advice to you is simple. Be honest with yourself and do whatever your heart desires. As long Trunks. as you don't cause trouble, that is. That is all for me. I must admit, I'm beginning to feel a bit embarrassed, so I bid you farewell. Farewell to you peoples as well. This is a weird class. Alright, bye. You didn't really teach us anything, but... I can't believe it. Such a wonderful class. Thank you so much. He's teaching us that sometimes you have to let your emotions out. Yeah, about ma healthy masculinity. Yeah, exactly. Such as what the Buffalo Bills taught us this week. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, you want to take more? One what? third of all cancers are sun related. That would make sense. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, that does not surprise me. Yeah, if you want to take more. We want to just breeze through art class? Yeah. I'll, I'm, I'm not trying to talk to you, Psyduck. Get out of here. Oh, I didn't notice Arvin there. Was he always there? Oh, he's just hanging out. <laughs> To me, he's it, just sitting there. It does kind of look like he stole his haircut from uh, what's it called? I don't uh, know. Castle. Critical fail! Tsunami, oh no! No, I'm sorry. You're silenced for one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Reason none. First, allow me to apologize for losing my composure during our last class. I was so touched by Brassy's story that I simply couldn't contain my emotions. I'm sorry for making such a scene. Frogs can't swallow with their eyes open due to the fact that they use them to help push food down their throat. Frogs are so weird. In man. my head, though, <laughs> in my head, like the frog's eyes, like go backwards and push their food down yeah. their throat. I'm like, yeah. gross. I certainly got a very stern talking to you from Miss Time after that class. Yes, is Miss Time just in charge of scolding all the teachers? <laughs> She's the disciplinarian, right? Anyway, let us shift gears and dive into the material for today's class. Now, have you, any of you heard of the Ten Sites of Paldea? Yes. I remember them, kind of. There are ten sites that are considered particularly beautiful. Among them, I would say the Grand Olive Orchard is likely the most accessible. You can see field after field of olive trees from the hill on the way to Cortondo. Two waterfalls are also accounted among these ten sites, Fury Falls and Casa Roy Falls? Casserole Falls. Then there's the peak of Glaceno Mountain, known as Palladia's highest peak, or Paldeas. There's another cliff on Glaceno's Mountain that's named after its rather unique shape. So let me ask you, my students, what is the name of the three pond cliff on Glaceno Mountain? No need to grasp its straws. Okay, is it um, gr Glaceno's grasp, I'm guessing? That's what I was gonna say, because he said don't need to grasp its straws. Exactly! It looks like a hand taking hold of something, doesn't it, Ronnie? 
The three-pronged cliff on Glacado Mountain is in fact known as Glacado's Grasp. Though its shape is far too stubby to be that of a human hand, I imagine someone thought it looked like a Pokemon hand grabbing something. There's also the mountains in Area 3 of the East Province where you can get a look, good look at La Vincia, particularly gorgeous, gorgeous at night. In fact, the view is so brilliant it's known as the Million Volt Skyline. Okay. It's quite a hot spot for dates, and deservedly so for having such a romantic view. She's like, I take all my lady friends there. What do you think? Kids say these days, a fleek selfie spot. Hell yeah! <laughs> On fleek? Can we go there and take a fleek selfie? Okay. Of course, you may not feel that all ten sites live up to their grandiose names. How often do we visit some tourist spots only to be disappointed? I feel like his classes are longer. Yeah. Not to say you shouldn't visit them, only you should keep your hopes in check. The important thing is to go yourself and see them with your own two eyes. Sometimes a disappointing experience can be worthwhile in its own way. Take a chance. Just ask my wife. Wow. <laughs> that's too much, Mr. Hassel. <laughs> well, that's it for today, class. Thank you for your attention. I just imagine his wife being like, Hassel, you are aptly named. <laughs> Alright, I think this is the final. It, it should be, but I, maybe not. I don't know. Psyduck is like, hi, I'm here. We see you, Psyduck. We see you. Psyduck, you are seen. You are so seen, Psyduck. You're seen, duck. Hello, class. It's I, Hassle, yet again. <laughs> My, my, how time flies, as they say. Indeed, our time together has certainly flown by. It's hard to believe that this is our last class. Now, our topics for today may feel somewhat unrelated to art. Honey. But there is absolutely no set definition as to what art should be. Therefore, let us carry on with the discussion and see where it takes us. Penny, wait, we need you to help us with the quest. There are two things I wish for to focus on today. Rubens and Marks. Both ribbons and marks are special honors that capture a Pokemon's qualities. There will be times when your Pokemon gives maximum effort or has a noteworthy experience. In recognition of its feats and accomplishments, it can be given a ribbon. To give an example, if you manage to become incredibly close to a Pokemon, it may be granted the best friend's ribbon. Oh, that's why it's a rely reliable ally. Oh. There's a person in Cascarafa who can give your Pokemon a best friend ribbon. My Marks, on the other hand, are mostly found on wild Pokémon when you meet them for the first time. They can symbolize the character of a Pokémon, such as with the Rowdy Mark or the Vigor Mark. Completely up to luck whether you run into a Pokémon with these Marks. So if you're able to catch a Pokémon with a Mark, rejoice at your outstanding fortune. Does anyone know what special thing you can do with Pokémon that have Rubens or Marks? I'm gonna say change their title. Wonderful, Ronnie. Your knowledge is impressive. The correct answer is that Pokemon with ribbons or marks can be given titles. What's more, they can be sent into battle displaying a title of your choosing. For example, you could send out Gibble with the best friend ribbon by declaring, Go Gibble the great friend! <laughs> well, I know I just said that marks are generally found already on Pokemon when you meet them for the first time. It seems that more recently, Pokemon can be awarded certain marks based on their efforts. These are marks such as the Gourmand mark, the Dumbfinder mark, the Partner mark, and so on. Perhaps it might be fun to try to work out how to get each mark using its name as a clue. Just about wraps up our last class. Next is the final exam. Please review our material closely so that you pass on your first try. Alright. So did we not take the math final? I'm pretty sure we did take the math final. But, but it might just stay there. As yeah, I was like, if we take this final, and then see what happens. Art final. Art final, the name of an art character in like a children's show. Yeah. Luna, your hair keeps getting in my mustache and my nose. Luna, how dare you? I'm mustache Luna a question. I do hope you're all ready because it's time for your final exam. I would be if I loaded in. Hello, Nimona. And begin. What is the name of a type of restaurant where you can change a Pokemon's terror type? Oh, frick. I forget. Is it the treasure trove? I'm gonna pick that one. 
What's the name of Brassius' signature art installation? Be surrendering some flora. How many waterfalls are counted? Two. Where can you find the million volt oh, skyline? The Vincinia? Pokemon. Okay. The po marks are Pokemon. Wait. The marks a Pokemon has are present when you first meet, and none can be added later. I think that's false. No, I'm pretty sure that's, that's true. true. The ribbons can be added later. Yeah. Time's up. Pencils down. Thank you for learning about art. Time we shared has left a mark that I will treasure. It's my sincere wish that we all go on to even greater, more prosperous futures. That's all. Good work, everyone. You can receive your results from the front desk. I hope I passed. Luna, did we pass? We'll see. Alright, let's look at the results. Let's see how you did. I got three out of five. I so, just squeaked by with the no, win. No, no, you need four to pass the final. Oh, no! Which one did I get wrong? I don't tell Probably you. the treasure trove one. Yeah. Are, are we just trying again? We gotta do it again. Oh, God. And then we'll go bother Nimona. Yeah. You should have picked different ones than me for the ones we weren't sure of so that we... Yeah. Were... We're in summer school now. Right. Actually, I really liked summer school. I did it. I mean, I only went once. It was for, uh... I'm, I guess the treasure eatery? I don't know. What do you want to pick? I'm, I'm gonna pick the treasury. We'll see. We know this one this for sure. Is this one. I think I thought this was two. I thought it was three. Okay, I picked two last time. What did you pick? I picked two as well. Yeah, let's we'll split it. Let's we'll see. Okay. This is Lavincia. Yeah, this one is Lavincia. Maybe this was the one we got wrong? I'm pretty sure this is true, but you pick whatever you want. I'm just gonna see what I get. Watch me get two right this time. <laughs> I'm like, god damn it. Okay, let's see. This, this might take a minute. Hold on. We really gotta listen to this again. I already failed once. What if they, like, publicly displayed your grades, like, online? I, I would feel silly. People can publicly shame you. All right, let's see. I got five out of five! I got two out of five this okay, time. Okay, so all the ones I picked this time were right. Yeah. So if you go back and pick all those. What? You know what would be really punishing? If they made you retake all the classes. Yeah, right? Psyduck is celebrating you. Don't mind me. Alright. So this one is the treasure eatery. Right? I can't remember. Did I pick the treasury? Or did you no, pick I the No, I picked the treasury. Okay, so it's the treasure eatery. Two. Two. Lavincia. And false? Yeah, I guess. I feel like that contradicts what he said in class, like, immediately. Yeah. I see a book. Status conditions. I'm not actually gonna read this, but... I don't know if it- if- do I get a reward if I read all these? No, I think you just learned how to play the game. CMB! Welcome well, to class! Howdy. We just took our midterms. Our final. Uh, our final, I mean. Yeah, we just took our final in art class, which uh, it took a little uh, bit of time to do it. Also, Cal's personal TikTok kind of has motivated me to like play with my personal TikTok. Oh yeah. My, my nightmare. nightmare. I kind of just want to make ones where I rant about stuff. <laughs> art class. I love the one girl on TikTok who. Oh, did you pass? Yeah. She she always like it opens with her like putting her foot up on the counter of her sink mm. and then she's like got a mirror and she always goes judge the dorms with dead baby doll and then she just goes off on a ranch. She's been busy on TikTok. Yeah. Okay, we didn't find Penny. No, but I think we have to go probably beat Nimona first. We gotta beat Nimona first. 
I don't know. I feel like once we beat the Elite Four, then we'll be able to get our allies. Yeah, I mean, that's what it sounded like. Okay, so we can't fast travel there. Yeah. So, let me go ahead and just get the destination set here. I tried to see... So, see, I mean, next we're replaying the Dragon Age games because I've never played them and they're around these faves. And I was annoyed that only Inquisition is on PS5. Like, they never put the old ones on the systems. Oh, you actually took the fast way. I see. Well, I mean, I was trying to, but... Oh, jeez. What just happened? I don't know. I just got a cutscene. <laughs> Ronnie broke the game. I don't know what's happening. I just can't believe that... Yeah, so look, we're gonna have to, like, buy them on on uh, desktop, which isn't a big deal, but, you know, to play them. Well, and I wanted them all on the same system, too, because the decisions that you make in each game affect what happens, like, farther up the game. Where does this come out? Because clearly I came from here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do that. Oh. <laughs> oh, you found it. I, um... I think I'm gonna look into buying some upgraded parts oh, for the computer. Oh, apparently there's just a door to get there. Soonish, so that way we can play like when the new Dragon Age comes out, we can play it on max. Yeah. Like to see what we need to start pricing out, you know. Yeah. But I really don't know what we need to upgrade right now. Oh wait, you're not there. You just you just left out of one of the doors. I guess the biggest thing I would like to buy is a like uh. I don't, we don't get on my way, Pokemon. We don't really need a 4K camera for because like it's too much. But streaming in 4K, when I edit our clips, they will be less blurry mm -hmm. because they, when they get compressed, they still look good. So I would like to get that camera. Yeah. But that's expensive. Um, we could get the 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 1080p 60 FPS one. Um, which is cheaper, but I'm like. That's like the one thing I really want to get is a better webcam now. Oh yeah. But for like three hundred dollars ish, I'm like we could just buy a, X a DSLR oh my one. God. I feel bad for you. I found someone I've never seen before. You did one damage to me. What's well, two feet four inches and weighs forty five point two pounds? Your mom. Wow. Getting Scarlet Violet. Okay, well this guy had only one Pokemon and it was level 14. Yeah. Uh, as of now, and people are saying this is their favorite Pokemon game ever, my rankings for Pokemon games are Gold, Red, Arceus, Scarlet Violet. Okay. That's still pretty high. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's fine. Like I'm I'm enjoying it. Um, oh boy. One day the Switch will go on to its eternal rest and we will get a better Nintendo system, hopefully. Here we go. But for what they had to work with, I think it was pretty good. No. <laughs> I mean, not if you're playing, like, with another person. Yeah, like, we've only had ever played in other people's worlds. Oh, I'm here. Wait, ah! Are no! You, are you a fire type? That's a Digimon. What are you? I'm just gonna try Night Slash on you. You're level 56, actually. You're pretty high level. I think I cheated my Not way up Victory fine. Road. Are you fighting this person? You are fighting this person. Yeah. God, I hate sandstorms or any kind of weather effect that has to do damage each turn, because I'm like, okay, I get it. Let's just do Flower Trick. Which one would you get, CMB? I one hit his crocodile. Cerulege. Oh, this is the shark cadet that evolves in the violet into this. Yeah. But I don't like shark cadet's evolution. Um, in yours? In mine, yeah. 
Or no, wait, hold on. Fire is effective against steel, right? I don't know, maybe we'll try you don't die again, please. I think the main, yeah, the main differences are one's futuristic and one's like, uh, you know, historic More past. fantasy, I guess. Well, yours is like Stone Age, like, you know, she's got like the fishnet yeah. and stuff. And, but then like, yeah, the Mon differences. Hydro pump? Yeah. You mean uh, mine is the smart one? Yeah, I don't understand why mine doesn't even like. Ha why does it? Why even give it wheels in the design <laughs> yeah. if you're just gonna have it run around? I don't understand. Oh, Spring's level 69. Okay, I am gonna switch because I'm getting buffeted. Tink a ton in there? Or no way, I should have done fire type, right? Ah, that's fine. I don't understand it. Why? Why do they do that? Why you do this? Alright, bronze on. I should have not actually said. I'm sad that I haven't seen the Pokemon that looks like a piece of cheese. Okay, this is not good actually. I'm gonna switch Wednesday in. Okay, will you stop the sandstorm? Okay, that's fine. I actually prefer that. Wednesday, get in here, I'm sorry. Even though it's raining. I hate this move! My special defense, that's okay. Let's use Fire Fang. It's an evil. Which one? But what does it evolve from? Oh my god, why is this thing so strong? What level are you? 56, I think. Gimmigool! Oh, the Cheese Boy's Gimmigool's evolution! Oh! I love, wait, I, I love Cheese Boy. I didn't even see him. Okay, we get it. You got iron defense, okay? I'm doing all super effective attacks against him. Well, I guess it was raining, so my fire abilities were less, but... Right? That's Give me, the thing. give me, give me. I, I think so. I like that I got here after you and we finish at the same time. Yeah, 999 coins. Ronnie's pretty close. I'm close to it, yeah. I think I'm still a ways off. Give me the gooby coins so I can get a cheesy boy. Uh, what bag are the coins in? Uh, where all your Pokemon materials are? Oh, wait, these are berries. Look, I'm coming for you, buddy. I see you. I see you. Coins, where are you at? Only one? Here, I'll show you where mine are. Oh, I see. TM materials. Yeah, they're usually. Nine yeah, I've got seven hundred and eight. Wow, it's weird that we have the same like oh eight, but yeah. I see another Google over there. Oh my god, it's gonna make me do a cutscene now. Right. <laughs> the cutscene. I jumped off the roof and I was like. Hello. I'm gonna let it do the slow pan on yours. You gotta go. Hello. I, we are both riding Pokemon, yeah. Well, That's our ride. One of ours has wheels and feet, and one of them has just wheels. So, this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Ronnie. I look forward to meeting you again soon. 
So what are you, your dark type or something, I'm guessing? Her hair is, she's volume type. Yeah, just give me full first. Oh, shoot. Not yet. I gotta, I gotta go get the gimme ghoul. There one on this side. No. Gotta get a gimme ghoul. All right. Sounds like something that would be a really fast rap line. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta get a gimme ghoul. Gotta get a gimme ghoul. You can trade the TM materials. Can't be help items. Hmm. Huh? What? You can't trade them. TM materials can't be held. Oh, items. I see. Oh, I see. All right, we gotta go take our second test. CMB's favorite part of the stream. I I honestly don't know if we're gonna succeed here. Like, I feel like we might. Lose. But it's your girlfriend. Yeah, it is my girlfriend. I think. Thank you for coming today. Please do have a seat. seat. I love the weird floaty thing I did to take a seat. Oh god, is this really gonna be a test? Oh yes. my god, did we not take all the classes so we don't know the answers to some of these things? Uh, <laughs> Pokemon League making fun of us. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion's assessment. We'll begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. This Excellent. is you have all eight. This is CMB learning he has to take a test in this game. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you wouldn't mind, Ronnie. Please think carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview, depending on your answers. Let's begin! How did you get here today? Okay, I feel like, is this a trick question? I wrote... on my Pokémon. That's what I'm picking. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. Oh shit, which one is which? I'm Narnja. Okay. You're Uva. An 18! Oh, that's pretty good! Well, what are you rolling for? Ah, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? Become a hey, champion. I'm becoming a champion! Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? Uh... I'm going to say I want to become even stronger. That's what I was going to pick, too. Um, <laughs> I do you, see. Interesting. I can't remember if we've talked about it before, Hazard. Have you played d and Which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? Oh, God. I don't remember. Who killed the most of my Pokemon? Which one's Rhyme? Rhyme... Was three years ago. Madal? No. Glossado? Is it no, Monta Nevera? Oh, I don't even have that on my choice. The heck? Once three years ago. Just the once. I'm picking this one. I don't know! I don't know who gave me the most trouble! Oh, okay, I do have them. Okay, I see. Alfornada? Is that where the psychic Bafanada. lady was? I don't know. It just sounds like something they would say in Hollow I don't know. Night. I have no idea. I see. I don't know. Did I lie? It was the name of the gym leader you faced there. Uh, damn it, I should have picked somebody I knew. Okay, who was the who was the model? Was it Alfonado? I got model? it right! Was it the Alfonado the model? I have no idea. Was it Tulip? <laughs> you got I don't know! Okay. Oh, thank you, Sabi. I should have waited for you to confirm. <sighs> Do you remember which type of Pokemon Tulip used? Okay, that was the Psychic Gym. And Rhyme uses Ghost, sure. right? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Whew, this is stressful. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Ronnie. <laughs> Those are some tricky questions. They're, they're like, uh, do you remember every single trainer you fought? Yeah. Every single gym leader, their name, location, and type? 
What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Obviously, the ca grass cat Pokemon. What if you picked this one wrong? Very good. Very good. Now, please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a pe previous question. What do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? I am going to become even stronger! She's doing the calculations. Ah, uh, yes, that's it. Even right. she forgot! Next is the final question for this interview. Woo! Do you like po- Well, obviously I like Pokemon! What if they- if you click no, they were like, don't ever buy a Pokemon game again, right. you scum. Good job, kiddo! Don't call me kiddo. I'm 31. That about wraps up the interview. Let me be the first to congratulate you, Ronnie. You just passed the first part of the champion's assessment. Hell yeah. Woo. I was sweating. <laughs> Your first try, too, no less. Don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. Oh god, I can't let Nimona beat me. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, you can call me kiddo. Alright, fine. Second segment is what we call the elite test. And you'll be facing the elite four in Pokemon battles. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test. We're the best league has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, and then go into the room behind me. Okay, so there's no grinding out levels 